Now that we know what electricity is, let's learn how we can control it to do some useful things for us. We learned that electricity is energy that flows, and because it flows from one point to another, we can control that flow. Now we do this using electrical circuits. An electrical circuit is a path for electricity to flow. Let's take a look at what makes up a simple circuit. So let's take a look at a simple circuit. Now we're going to draw a diagram of a circuit. Now a diagram is just a fancy name for a picture. Our circuit diagram will have symbols that represent physical objects. So here we see the name of the components in our circuit. A battery, a light, and a switch. Each of these has a symbol that we will use in our diagram. First, the battery. Here's what a battery looks like. It has a positive and a negative side. Next, we have the symbol for light. Finally, we have the symbol for a simple switch. So now that we know what our symbols represent, let's draw our circuit and see how it all works. Let's start with our source for the electricity, the battery. Now from our battery, we have our path or what would typically be wires coming from the battery. Next we have our light. And finally we return back to the battery and this gives us a circuit or a path. We'll get to the switch shortly. So now that we have our circuit drawn, how does it work? Well, for electricity to flow, it has to have a closed path to flow on from our source back around to the source again, normally. So let's take a look at our circuit. Electricity leaves our battery and travels the path shown here, around through our light and back through our battery. Now this is great, but with this setup our light would never turn off, at least not until the battery runs out. So how do we fix this? If you set a switch, then you're exactly right. So let's add a switch to this circuit. An open switch is basically a break or a gap in our circuit. And because of this gap, electricity cannot flow and complete the circuit, thus not lighting the light. But having a switch gives us the ability to turn the light on and off by closing and opening the switch. And there you have it, a simple circuit. This circuit is exactly what's happening with our lightsabers. You press a switch which turns on the light and that light travels down the tube which is captured by the cellophane and the plastic and illuminated. So that was a simple circuit. Interesting, right? Now we'll actually get to build our very first circuit. See you in the next video.